In this video, I'm going to discuss chapter 9 of this book. And these are the subjects that I'm going to discuss. I'm going to create stress plot that correspond to uh, a more circle with the situation where there are three normal stresses. And after that, I'm going to check the results and see if I can uh, get the values that correspond to the more circles of this situation. So I'm going to switch over to SolidWorks, create a new file. And in my template, there is a cylinder. I don't need that in this case, so I'm just going to delete it. And create a new sketch on this surface with a center point rectangle. So I can get it nicely located around the origin of 10 millimeters and the other value. I just push the F button over there to fit everything on the screen. So two squares, both 10, uh, so sorry, one square, both uh, dimensions 2 millimeters, and then create a mid plane extrude of also 10 millimeter. And now to get, uh, just a second, to get this situation that I want to have here. The one normal stress of 10 newton per square millimeter, one of five, and one compressive of five. So, minus value is uh, corresponding to a compressive force. I have to enter a thousand newton because the surface area is a uh, hundred. So, a thousand newton divided by a hundred millimeter is 10 newton per square millimeter. So, I'm gonna delete this study and create a new one, a new simulation study like that and I'm gonna create a fixed point in this case I wanna get the nice values in this calculation so that's why I also use the nice rounded dimension I don't wanna have any stress concentration so I'm not gonna fix a whole surface what I could do is for example fix uh, this point so that, that the whole block will not move uh, I'll fix it with this surface as a reference and normal to this surface I don't want any movement and also let me see I don't want any movement in this direction and the block should be able to move here in that direction because otherwise I could get a, a, a stress concentration in this calculation and now the block can still rotate around this axis, so around the y-axis. To stop that I can just uh, enter a last fix fixture in this case, so I'll fix this point in use reference geometry again, in this direction. So if you use a, a surface, uh, I should have selected it over here, if you use a surface you can enter three values for uh, the translations to be fixed. When you use a line it just uses one direction. So now I can easily get a, a situation in which there are no stress concentration by entering forces. And in the x direction I want to get a force of 10 newton per square millimeter. So I'll take these two surfaces, enter a value of 1000 newton reverse, so it'll be a, a tensile force and also a tensile stress therefore. In the other direction, the y direction here, I want to have a half of that, so I want a tensile force as well of 500 newton like that and then as a last one, a last force I'll take these two surfaces and enter a value of 500 as a compressive force so I don't need to reverse direction alright so now uh, I should be able to run this simulation I'll, say I'll save the part first and then run it And now you can see you get, you get a strange uh, color mark over here. But when you look at the scale here, you see the value is only a very minor change. So uh, the scale here is, is almost one uniform value for the von Mises stress. Now if I want to have a look at the x direction stress, it should be 10 newton per square millimeter. So the final stress plot for the x stress. And you see the value of 10 over here it appears. Uh, so another stress plot in the y direction should have a value of 5 newton per square millimeter. 
you see the value over here as well it's five just very small minor rounding differ differences my rounding errors in this part that shows these color marks and the last one should be minus five so the stress in the z direction this one should be minus five you see it over here minus five so that's what I've uh, created here with more circles so if for example I want to have this value I'm gonna have to create a reference surface and then plot the the normal stress and shear stress so the the shear stress under an angle of 45 degrees corresponds to this point of a rotation of 90 degrees in the circle and then the shear stress should be seven and a half and the normal stress should be two and a half because this axis shows the normal stress and this axis shows the shear stress in more circle so I'll go back and create a reference surface just as I've done in uh, the video of chapter 8 so uh, create a new sketch for example on this surface and I'm going to have a, a reference of 45 degrees like that and then create a, a reference surface first exit the sketch and create a reference surface with this point and this line and it's under 45 degrees so now on this surface mm, I should have the biggest difference because this, uh, this direction, the x direction is 10 newton per square millimeter the z direction is a compressive force of 5 newton per square millimeter so the shear stress on this surface should be 7.5 newton per square millimeter so I'll go back to the study and I've got warnings that the model has changed so it's, it's not a big issue, it's, it's no issue at all as long as you know what you're doing, the warning the model has indeed changed I've created a surface, that's the only thing that's changed So I could rerun this study but I don't really need to do that I can just define a stress study, a stress plot, look at the shear stress, which one should I have? I should have the the XZ or ZX, that one should be 7.5. So let's have a look here, XZ is over here, and then with the reference surface of plane 1 is already selected because I've pre-selected that, and that should be 7.5 now, as you can see here, so I've created this point in this plot, and if I rotate it around the other directions, I will find the value corresponding to the other circles. So you can try to do that with Saltzburg simulation as well. So it was a, a stress situation with three normal stresses. Thanks for watching.